Hello and welcome to this week's Friday Fun with EU Tweets. Of course, dominating the news this week is Emmanuel Macron's presidential victory in France. His official Twitter account broke the news first with a déclaration officielle. Reuters' Noah Barkin got straight to the point asking what the new nickname will be after Mercosi and Mercolande. He votes for Mackerel. Others pointed out the striking difference between the new French president and his counterpart in the US. Tobias Schneider wondered if the Molière quoting leader will have much to talk about with the famously bookshy Donald Trump. And yet more considered his dashing looks. Hollande may not have been as attractive as Obama, but with Macron and Trump, the tables have turned, said Spark Dees. And of course, there was the inevitable comparison with Brexit. We think this cartoon says it all. It's the domino defect. Back in Brussels, Europe Day took centre stage. Thomas Pesquet said that viewed from space, London, Paris and Brussels form a very European triangle, while an account calling itself EU flag mafia celebrated with a huge four-metre flag in Maidenhead. However, the Leave.eu campaign wants to do away with the corrupt European Union and posted this image featuring Nigel Farage and Marine Le Pen. Many others, including Krishnan Guru Murthy, highlighted the latest Banksy mural which deals with Brexit. And finally, we have learned who will replace the irreplaceable Kristalina Georgieva as Bulgarian commissioner. The Prime Minister of Bulgaria, Boyko Borisov, announced the nomination of Maria Gabriel on Twitter. The next step, as explained by the Commission, is an interview with Juncker, leading Katie Owens to ask, do we know if she will take over Georgieva's former portfolio or is it time for a commission reshuffle? Thanks to Dan Foss for supporting this week's episode. Read their latest tweet about the huge potential for energy savings by optimising buildings on Twitter at Dan Foss.